Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 4.5 of Mastering Parallel Programming series, we are diving deep into the world of efficient task cancellation with cancellation tokens. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel Programming using PFX that is Parallel Framework Extension Libraries in c -Shop. If you have watched my previous videos, you probably remember this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn efficient task cancellation with cancellation tokens. Efficient task cancellation with cancellation tokens. Let's imagine you are working on a complex project, managing multiple tasks simultaneously. Certainly, we need to cancel some of these tasks. How do you do it efficiently? That's where cancellation tokens come into play. So here, we just need to follow five steps to implement task cancellation using cancellation token source class in C Sharp. So what are those steps? Step number one, instance creation of cancellation token source class. So here, we need to create an instance of the cancellation token source class, which provides the ability to cancel tasks. How we are going to create an instance of this cancellation token source class? It's very simple. We just need to use the new operator. That's what I have written, where obj cancellation source equal to new cancellation token source. This line basically create an instance of this cancellation token source class. Okay, step number two, accessing cancellation token. How we are going to access cancellation token? We just need to use this token property of this OBG cancellation source that we have created from the step number one. That's what I have written, cancellation token, token equal to OBG cancellation source dot token. That's how we are going to access this cancellation token. Now come to the step number three, starting a task and check for cancellation request. So here a new task is created using task.factory.start new method. Within the task delegate, I have used this token.throw if cancellation requested method. That is basically checking whether cancellation request has been made or not. If it is made, so this method throws an operation cancelled exception. Now come to the step number four, cancelling the cancellation token source. What I have written over here, obj cancellation source dot cancel method. So this line cancels the associated cancellation token source, which effectively cancels all tasks that are associated with the token. That's why this statement is very, very important. Now come to the step number five, which is the last step. So here, what we need to do, we need to catch an aggregate exception and check the inner exception for detecting a canceled task. So how we are going to do that? As we know, when a task is canceled, an operation canceled exception is thrown. Since tasks run asynchronously, these exceptions are collected in an aggregate exception. Therefore, we need to catch aggregate exception and then check if the inner exception is an operation cancelled exception to determine if the task was cancelled. So how we are going to do that? So here that's why I have written catch aggregate exception ex. If ex dot inner exception is operation cancelled exception then what I am doing I am just printing this statement into console window task cancelled and that's how we are going to catch this aggregate exception and checking the inner exception for detecting a cancelled task. The part of step number five. So all these five steps ensure that us can be safely cancelled and provides a mechanism to handle cancellation gracefully. Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of efficient task cancellation with cancellation token. For that, what I have done, I have created one console application named task cancellation demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespaces using dot system, using system dot threading, using system dot threading dot task. Then there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. Here first of all I am just printing this statement into console window. I am printing efficient task cancellation with cancellation tokens demo in console window with the help of console.write line state. Then as a part of step number one what I am doing I am just creating an instance of cancellation token source. For that what I have done I have written var obj cancellation source equal to new cancellation and then I have written step number two accessing cancellation. Here I am just accessing the cancellation token with the help of token property. That's what I have written cancellation token token equal to obg cancellation source dot token. Then I have written step number three. So here basically I am starting a task and checking for cancellation. So here a new task is created using task dot factory dot start new method. Within the task delegate what I am doing I am just using this token dot throw if cancellation request. So this line basically checking if any cancellation request is made or not. If it is made then it is just going to throw operation cancelled exception. Before that what I am doing I am just you know using Using this for loop, so basically I am just you know simulating that some long running operation is going to be performed. That's what I have just used this for loop that will be executed 10,000 times. That's what I have written int i equal to 0, i is less than 10,000, i plus plus. Here what I am doing, console.writeline i. So i value I am just going to print with the help of console.writeline statement. 
friend i'm just making this thread to sleep for 100 milliseconds basically i'm just simulating some work over here. finally i'm using this statement check for cancellation request. then i'm finally i have written this statement token dot throw if cancellation request so if cancellation request is made this statement is going to throw operation cancel exception and here i'm just passing this token over here and step number four basically i'm just cancelling the cancellation token obj cancellation source dot cancel after 500 so this statement is just going to cancel after 500 milliseconds this is the step number four then i have written try and catch block try block i have used task dot wait method so basically this will be waiting for task to gets completed and if there is any exception those exception is going to get accumulated in aggregate exception and there we are going to check the inner exception for detecting a cancel task that's what i have written in catch block aggregate exception ex if ex inner exception is operation cancel exception then what i'm doing i'm just printing this statement into console window task cancel and if it is not operation cancel exception then i'm throwing this in again and finally i'm just printing this statement main method completed into the console window. so that's how this program is constructed in order to do the demo for efficient task cancellation with cancellation to okay so let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appeared into this console window if you see efficient task cancellation cancellation with cancellation token domain statement got printed it printed 0 1 2 3 and then task cancelled finally main method completed got printed and this task cancel method got printed that we have captured into this catch block where we are identifying that inner exception is operation cancelled exception and then this task cancel statement got printed with the help of console dot right line statement that's what we are able to see this task cancel into this output so now you might wonder why bother with cancellation to well they offer a graceful way to cancel tasks without abruptly terminating them this ensures your application remains responsive and maintains its integrity so with cancellation tokens you gain fine grid control over task cancellation allowing you to handle interruption smoothly plus they seamlessly integrate with various c sharp constructs like p link queries etc now let's talk about some best practices when using cancellation so all which pass cancellation tokens to method that support them like task.factory.startnew this ensures consistency in your code base okay so that brings me to end of my session to sum up we saw that mastering task cancellation with cancellation token is essential for efficient parallel programming in c -sharp. it empowers you to manage tasks effectively while maintaining the responsiveness of your application that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already Thanks for watching. See you next video.